Welcome to Loving Life Hitched Up. Today, we're taking you to Golden, Colorado. We'll give you a little tour of this perfectly situated downtown RV park, show you some of the sights in Golden, and then take you on a fun ride on the Lariat Loop. We'll end our time in Colorado with a visit to their majestic Capitol building in Denver and an afternoon at the ballpark. Go Rockies! We stayed at Clear Creek RV Park, which is located in the heart of Golden, with its scenic views and bubbling sounds of Clear Creek. It's one of the most adorable RV parks we have ever visited. The park has 32 RV spots and three tent-only spots. The best spots for people watching are along the walking trail, right up by Clear Creek. There are plenty of outdoor adventures just steps from your RV site, including hiking, kayaking, tubing, fishing, and biking. We're in Golden, Colorado. And when they pass a law here, is it called a golden rule? Apparently it is. A short stroll or bike ride from the RV park will lead you straight into downtown Golden. When you get there, make sure to stop at the visitor's center for some information on the area. Bostonians on it upwards. Scattered around the downtown area, you'll come across a lot of cool sculptures. There are great shops and lots of great restaurants where you can grab a bite to eat. Of course, you know I'm stopping at the ice cream shop. My favorite stop was Mountain Toad Brewery. Not only did they have excellent brews, but they also had a delicious Mexican food truck right on site. We came to Golden, Colorado because we wanted to go see Coors, but unfortunately, tours were closed due to COVID. It's okay. It gives us an excuse to come back. Be sure to check out the Golden History Museum and Park. It shows you what it was like for early ranchers and farmers in the area. It's just one block from downtown and it is always free. If you're wondering what the M on the mountain's for, Colorado School of Mines. Today we're in Golden, Colorado and we're taking a 40 mile scenic drive around the Lariat Loop. Our first stop, Windy Saddle Park. The Lookout Mountain Trail was a little bit strenuous, not what we had set out to do today, so we just walked out a short way to check out some of the views. Colorado is a huge bicycling state, kind of makes me wish I'd have brought my road bike with me. The next stop, Lookout Mountain Park, with views of the Colorado Front Range, Denver, and a short hike will take you to the Buffalo Bill Grave and Museum. The view of Golden, Colorado was excellent, but Denver was unfortunately lost in the haze. Now the gift shop at the restaurant is called Pahashka Tipi, and Pahashka means uh, long hair. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Hey, stay off the buffalo. Don't get the fluffy cow. You would think that Buffalo Bill would have been buried in Cody, Wyoming, as it was noted in his will. But the legend has it that he lay dying in Denver and he recalled the beautiful view from Lookout Mountain and requested to be buried there instead. To this date, there is a controversy about his request and some have even threatened to steal his body. Several tons of concrete ensure that he will stay exactly where he is buried. Stick around as we head over to our last stop, Red Rocks Amphitheater. I'm gonna take a good look around. I'm not coming back. That's what you think. Yeah, then go up and see. We 
did make it all the way to the top and you can see Denver a little bit clearer from this view, but it's still quite a bit of haze. After checking this out, I would love to come back here one day and actually see a show. There's no way I was leaving without my picture with the John Denver statue. So we got to the trading post, visitor center, whatever you want to call it, down at the bottom. And uh, we could hear music up here and they said if we wanted to see it, we had to hurry. So we had to hustle from way down there, all the way up there, to be get there before they close the uh, stadium and they have a show. We made it. So, little pro tip. Get if you do early. the lariat loop, come early, because otherwise they close, kick you out, and you might not get to see it if you did wait too late in the day. Or double check whether they have anything playing that day. We couldn't leave Colorado without spending an afternoon in Denver. Whenever we're in the capital city, we like to visit the capital building. Do you like to do the same thing? If you do, drop a comment down below and tell us what's your favorite capital building so we don't miss it. Etched on the 13th step of the capital building is the inscription, one mile high above sea level. We love checking out the capital buildings. The combination of the architecture and the beautiful artwork are always fun to see. Come on, let's go check out the view from the top of the dome. This tour has been awesome. And we are now at the top of the Capitol building. Yep, not at the very top of the dome, but pretty far up along the observation area, getting a great view. Walk around to the whole uh, area of Denver here. Pretty wild. And it's free. We made it to Coors Field. We're gonna watch Colorado Rockies play against the Chicago Cubs. Who are you rooting for? Uh, Detroit Lions. It's football. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm rooting for the Cubs. I'll go for the Rockies, then, just you know, so we can have some sort of banter. After this visit, I only have three stadiums left to visit: uh, Target Field in Minnesota. San Diego's uh, stadium, I think it's still called Petco, and I have to go back to Atlanta. San Diego and Atlanta, I was there once before, but they built new ones, so gotta go back. Free to go. So unlike other stadiums, especially Yankee Stadium, here they actually let you come down by the field before the game starts, and it was like a ball player signing autographs before, so come on, let's go down by the field. So what's with the purple seats? They indicate that you're one mile above sea level. Come with us next week as we go to Kansas and visit the Badlands. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss our next video. And remember, when you're out there loving life, do it hitched up.